On Sunday in Miami, the Boston Patriots started off on the wrong foot and ended up on their end zone. Frank Emanuel fell on the ball for a Miami touchdown. Boston's passing game was a study of ineptitude. Patriot quarterback Tom Sherman could not sustain a decent drive as he was either intercepted here by number 57, John Bramlett. Or dropped for a loss for the Dolphin pass rush. Sherman's net passing yardage in the first half was three feet. In direct opposition to Sherman was Dolphin quarterback Bob Greasy, who was having no trouble making connections. His 23-yard pass to number 21, Jim Kick, set up Larry Zonka's plunge for a touchdown. Which didn't set well with Boston coach Mike Hollaback. Perhaps the coach's displeasure sparked Jim Nance's 30-yard touchdown run. Unfortunately for them, this was Boston's only offensive outburst of the game. And it was to no avail as Miami roared right back on Gene Milton's 34-yard reverse and Greasy's touchdown pass to number 89, Carl Noonan. The Dolphins kicked off. Boston fumbled, and Miami recovered. Bob Greasy's pass to Jim Kick was good for 18 yards. Then from the seven, Greasy scrambled right and hit Doug Moreau for a touchdown. What you are about to see is not an instant replay. The Dolphins kicked off. Boston fumbled. And Miami recovered. Bob Greasy's pass to Doug Moreau was good for 24 yards. Larry Zonka then crashed over for his second touchdown, making the score 28-7 at the half. The second half saw no change in Boston's offense. Tom Sherman had little time to launch his passes, and when he did get them off, people like number 40 Dick Anderson made him wish he hadn't. Miami closed out the scoring with a field goal, set up by Zonka's 13-yard run and Greasy's 29-yard pass to Noonan. The 38-7 Miami victory was the Dolphins' first at home this year and should give the fans something to think about during the long, warm, and sunny winter. <laughs>